We rolling? Hi guys. What up? Carly here. I'm Zach. So Zach is here. <laughs> Zach and Carly. We are doing our couple Q&A today. We got so many good questions. We're going to try to blow through them. We appreciate y'all and the questions that y'all asked. We know that a lot of you have followed us or been with us on our journey for the past couple of years since yeah. the Vine days especially. We just celebrated our five year anniversary. Five years together. That's 10. Okay, let's get let's into get it. Let's get to it. The first question is, what has been the key to making your long distance relationship work? Hmm. Communication. Yeah, communication Tec off the top. I also think technology has been a huge help. Yeah. Right? Along with communication, mm -hmm. just going with that. We try to be really intentional with our communication. There's been times where it's slipped into super boring, no real conversation happening, boring. so. I ain't born, <laughs> so it happens. It happens, yeah, and I think you- get into a routine mm -hmm. and you say the same thing, you're doing the same thing every day. Yeah, communication, being intentional, and always having a date on when we're gonna see each other next. We try to always have like that next time, so yeah. whether it's two weeks or two months or whatever that we have a countdown. Something to look forward to. And just remembering the perspective of, I'd rather be doing this super difficult, hard situation with him than something convenient or easy with anyone else. Yeah. But it's doable. A lot of people, especially throughout our journey, have told us that it's impossible. Yeah, it's not worth it. You're wasting time. Mm -hmm. But like we said, five years. Yeah, distance is conquerable. It's been hard, but it's also kind of just been like, what else am I going to do? Not be with you? So know. it's the only choice I have. <laughs> it's the only choice I have. Hey. Does that cover it? Yeah. Okay. The question two. What's your best piece of advice is to very uh, ambitious people who are chasing very demanding careers, aka how do you balance that in a relationship when your career goals lead you to have to live worlds apart? This is so good because we do. We live two completely different lives. Yeah. And our careers are very different. They take us in completely. Like I can't be the baseball girlfriend. I can't be traveling with him and going along with wherever his career takes him because I have mine. So I mean, again, I would say, I would just say, it has to be with the right person and it, it kind of just goes together be supportive obviously with any relationship but I think especially with our careers it takes someone who understands we have to be very independent people and I think that's maybe why it works is because we are both super ambitious so we get that we're always gonna be there for each other but yeah. it's like go do your thing go do what yeah. you need to do you have to have someone who's understanding of that for sure I think it's really hard to be with someone super ambitious in a really demanding career and not be an independent person who's like Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good right. without you. Like, whenever you're here, cool. Whenever you're not. Yeah, exactly. I know we've both said before, you do you. Like, take care of what you got to take care of, and I'm going to be here mm -hmm. whenever you're done. So, at the end of the day, you got to go for your dreams, and everything is going to come back around if it's meant to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Just go after it, and hopefully that person is going to be there for you. Yeah. If that person is <clears throat> right for you, they will last through it. If they're not, then there's someone else who's right for you who will yeah. fit the lifestyle and the career that you want. Do you have any, or do you think there should be any boundaries as far as having close opposite sex friends? I mean... I, like I think obvious kind of just stuff. Like, yeah, it's just like, I don't really know if I can really say. I'm not going to sit here and say like. You can't do you this. Can't, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't you want her going to his house or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with her like going out with the opposite sex of guys. They're going out, but I don't want her going over to her house at 12 p.m. I think this is the best way to put it. As far as boundaries, it's not anything like specific. Like you can do this, you can't do this. The perspective that we try to keep when you're doing something, think about the other person and think if they were doing this with this person, if it was switched. What Make would it feel. make me uncomfortable if yes then yeah that's probably the boundary then don't do it if not then you're probably fine right and you trust the other person to put themselves in certain situations or not put themselves in certain situations so yeah there aren't any specific boundaries you just I feel have like, feel yeah have feel i mean if you don't trust that person you don't got nothing just got engaged and have been doing two years long distance Ugh, sorry girl my fiance will finally move here this summer yay <laughs> i'm happy for you <laughs> so happy for you just here. kidding what is your key to being in a successful long distance relationship what we just said and then do you have any advice on what to do when it gets really tough what do we do what do you do when it gets really tough i cry to you we cry typically when it feels really really tough is when like i feel like i've i've had nothing of him no specific time on facetime no calls no pictures when i just feel like super disconnected to you when it just gets real short and dry conversations same stuff every day so what do we do to fix that we talk about how we feel and what we want to get to 
how we want to get to that point. And what we and can we just, do to get to that point. Yeah, and we just try and make adjustments as we go. We assess where, what we what it's been like. Okay, if we're like, all right, we're feeling this way. We look back at the past week or however long it's been and go, okay, well, this is probably why it feels this way. It's because we've talked three times today or yeah. two times or we haven't had any type of in-depth conversation or and we haven't FaceTimed or that kind of stuff. So I think assessing the situation, talking about where we want to be and then talk about how we're going to do it and, and how we're going to do it and then just do it, get into it. Yeah. Yep. That was horrible. That was bad too. Uh, how do you, <laughs> how do you deal with fights and arguments? Like what's your best route to solving slash ending them quick and not hurting the relationship? This is such a good question because we struggled with this for years. Yeah. Just gotten to the point over what the past year or two year, solid year where we've really figured out how to handle them well. Yeah. What would you say? Been able to get over it in a good amount of time perspective having the perspective of the other person and also realizing that hopefully the other person is not doing anything to intentionally hurt you and never was remembering their heart behind the situation yeah is really big i mean you should probably reassess the, the relation the, re <laughs> the relationship if you really do feel like you're with someone who's intentionally hurting you i know that we of course when we're angry or upset we say things we don't mean and we can hurt the other person we were not always masters i mean we're still not masters no, at it but we do do a lot better yeah we so. haven't mastered anything about about this we're just sharing what we've learned yeah how do you guys put god first in your relationship for example do you do prayers bible study church together routinely i wish I wish, we routinely together. <laughs> I wish we were routine routine Routi routinely together to go to church routinely together yeah. that would be amazing because yes we would but we do we go to church together yeah i mean we whenever we're together. whenever for off season or during holidays and extended periods of time together we do go to church together individually yeah. though we do devotionals i mean we're constantly praying for each other we pray together when we we're, pray together when we're together god is pretty important to both of us it's Kind of the center, or at least we try to make it the center. He's of the he's our the relationship, yeah, and he's so it foundation. kind of just shows up. He's the foundation of our relationship for sure. We give everything to him as far as like trusting him with how things are gonna work out and all of it. Like you said, he's definitely it's the basis the center. of everything that we're doing. Is just like having faith in what we're gonna come to and everything. How it's so all gonna work how out. it's all gonna come together. <laughs> he but, knows you know. we don't, but he does. I feel like we do a pretty good job at uh, trying to keep each other in check and trying to keep each other in line with uh, doing that. So Yeah, so. and encouraging each other, you know, how's your prayer life been? How are your devotionals going? Are you watching church online? Are you are, going to church if mm -hmm. you can? Reminding each other to keep him yeah. at the focus in the center and when each other fall off or we can sense the other person maybe isn't in that al headspace. aligned with God, gently reminding them, you know, hey have you been walking with him because you're getting crazy <laughs> and next javon javon you something else boy do either of you poop with the door open we're not even together enough to do that i've been answering that question man and next <laughs> favorite memory of your entire relationship both of you answer all right i'm gonna go first okay, go. i'm gonna say the very first time that we met which I'm not going to get too in-depth with because I know somebody asked that, so. There's so many good ones. I had to choose. There was a a trip that I took sophomore year. Sounds about right. Sophomore year of, his, of him being in college. I was in, living in LA and I planned a trip to go visit him and surprise him and he had no idea and i remember being so excited and yeah. and and like anxious and on the plane and flying from la to texas and it was at night and i had arranged it with all of his friends and roommates and yeah i was super caught off guard super caught off guard i think there's a there's a video of it there's a video somewhere yeah i <laughs> remember because he's always so good about surprising me and i was like i'm gonna get him so i did yeah, and i got yeah. you yeah. and um yeah he was sitting in the living room on on a couch and i walked in he freaked out yeah just got up started screaming <laughs> just calling everybody out because they everybody knew but me it was a good one. It was a good, it was one. A good one. It was a good one and so i mean and then after that of course we got time together so i got to see baseball it was valentine's day yeah, it was a good trip yeah it was we've had a lot good of those, memory so. We've had a lot of those. Who takes the other person's food more? You think? Do you think, really? <laughs> <laughs> so stereotypical, the girl takes the food. Okay, guilty. I mean, here's, here's the thing. It's because I always do a taste test. If he gets a milkshake or something, I gotta do like a, hey, listen, I'm watching out for you. Do a taste test, make sure it's safe. 
you know, before you get poisoned. Oh, something else. Maybe it's love. I'm trying to take it for you. I'm trying to protect you. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you both cry on cue right now? Look into each other's eyes and do it. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh. Oh my gosh, stop it! <laughs> All right, I can't do it because he's made me laugh too much. Sorry. I can usually cry on cue. <laughs> Ain't no crying right here. And next! Is there a tear yet? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come down eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see it. Yes, you can. <laughs> Yay! That was good. No. No! Okay. Do you guys see an engagement or wedding in the near future? <laughs> Do we? Of course. <laughs> yes, we do. Right now, again, we're just super career focused. <laughs> yes, we know it's been five years. Yes, of course, we talk about it. Yes, of course, we're looking forward to it. This tear is still a little wet. Yeah, it's gonna come, but. Yeah, we talk about it, we're excited for it, we plan for the future and imagine it and all of that. But right now, nah. we're both super, super focused on our careers and wanting to establish foundations in those things before yeah, we. Take mm -hmm. that next step yeah, before to we, that stage. Yeah, to, to building our life together. And we both want to feel like we're in a place to do that and to start building our life together and feel like we both have our identities secured in our careers yeah. and right now i just i'm focusing on keeping this long distance relationship afloat and <laughs> okay and building my career and making sure that i'm doing everything that i need to be doing so yes but not now not now but it's gonna be fun when it comes yes it is okay <laughs> Will you guys ever do more duos, Vine Days? We are just talking about that. We might have one coming. What's the answer, babe? Yes. What was the instance you knew you loved the other person? Each of you answer your own moment. I'll go first. I think for me, I can't remember exactly where I was or what I was doing, but I remember the thought of, oh wow, this feels different than any other thing I've been in. I was like, oh. Is this what love feels like? We'll get into it when we talk about how we met, but it was super instant for us. And I'm not saying when I met him, I knew that I loved him, but there was definitely that. That connection. That connection. Yeah. And, it, and it grew really quickly. I mean, our parents would probably say too quickly. They thought we were crazy. Yeah. You got the tear. Tear? <laughs> get it. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay, your turn. I was going to say, I don't think there was a specific moment. I think you just, like you were saying, you just like feel it as, as you're going and as you're meeting that person and you're getting to know that person and growing with that person, I think it just... The love grows with that. Yeah. I mean, could we say within like the first month, within like the second month, within like the first couple months, when do you feel like we individually started, oh, okay, I think I love this person. Probably within the first, that first summer, the, the summer we met, it was falling for you. I mean, when do you think that started for you? Started from the very beginning. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It just, it grows. So it's... You know? I mean, our love now is way different than it was. Like, exactly. That. I mean, because yeah, it's, it's like just... we've been through stuff. We know each other. There's the good, the bad, There's the ugly more... life. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot more experience there. How did y'all meet? I'll let you take this one. So we met at a graduation party of a mutual friend. Our friends. You thought I was gonna say my friend. At one of our friends' uh, graduation party. High school graduation said, party. High school graduation party and- We go way back. We went to a lake house, I guess. Mm -hmm. In Texas. In Texas and- We met there. He doesn't remember this, but I do. I remember the first time we made eye contact. I remember walking into this, to this house where we were all meeting before we were going to carpool over to the lake house. And I walked in and I sat down on the couch. He at the time was playing video games. So I was like his back. <laughs> so typical. <laughs> so obviously I didn't notice him then, but I sat down on the couch and then I guess he switched out with someone to play a video game. He sat down on another couch. Someone made a joke and I remember laughing and making eye contact with him. And in that moment, I kid you not, this has never happened to me, but I felt like, who is that? That's what went through my head is I, I remember that moment, like visually, like <laughs> I can 
vividly, mm. vividly remember, vividly, vividly remember making eye contact with him. So it was the craziest experience. I think we both wish that we could go back and be flies on the wall yeah. of that weekend. It was fun. It was just one of those world those times wind. that you just like a movie, like a world. You you just always want to go back to. Mm -hmm. And you always think about the details, mm -hmm. if you can remember it. So know. cool. Who was this person? Who was this person and why do I feel like they're going to be so important to me? LOL, fast forward five years later. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with the judgment critiques of others when it comes to your relationship? Who judging me? Who judging us? Wow. If we get them, okay. I mean, who's in this relationship? It's us two. We're the only two people in the relationship, and so everybody else's opinion doesn't really phase me. Yeah. Probably guys get this more than girls, right? In a relationship, in a relationship, everybody expects the girl to be the mushy one or to be outward about their love, and like that's kind of the expected girl thing to do. So for guys, I feel like you probably get it more when like, a cute picture is posted or something and there, there's that judgment and I think that weird thing that gets put on guys like y'all aren't allowed to be yeah in love or in a relationship it's it's I feel like it's gonna sound really cliche but it's just getting to the point where like you don't care what other people are thinking and you know what you have you know what you want I think is the most important thing and whenever you know what you want then you just go with that you know, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. Like she said, it's just us two, so why are we gonna care about... Someone else's opinion. Yeah. Or judgment. Who was the first person to say, I love you, and how? Who was the first? I was the first. Mm -hmm. How'd you say it? I love you. <laughs> and I need you. Nelly, wait. Yeah, I love you. Oh, I do. <laughs> no middle... matter what I do. In the middle of that, I remember that it wasn't a guy singing that, so I just... He stopped. That's why I stopped. We were outside my house. You were about to go to college. Yep, I was about to drive. I was about to go to Baylor. It caught me so off guard. I paused, and I was like, wait, did this just happen? Then I said it back, and on my way home, he texted me. <laughs> he texted me and said, just so you know, I, I, I realized that you paused, and you didn't have to you didn't have to say anything back if you, if you didn't want to. And I was like, no, 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 that wasn't it. Like, I feel it too. I wanted to say it back. I just you just caught me off guard <laughs> what are your favorite qualities about each other right, you go favorite first. qualities mm, your humor I am a funny bot your looks you're you so pretty those eyes my big eyes the big eyes wake up like that like <laughs> <I know. laughs> no nah, but um your passion for what you love your dedication to to what you want just that drive that you have for your career and just things that you care about. Honestly. Thanks slash people. Yeah. Your heart, you're a very genuine person and you're super thoughtful. Your smile is like my favorite. Not that one, that one's really, that one's, that's not it, that's not it. And your eyes, your eyes are really cool. When you do that, you can't see your eyes. So. <laughs> your humor too i mean we're constantly laughing and that's probably like the best thing is we could go to the grocery store and make it fun who can do the most push-ups oh my gosh <laughs> should we do them no you're right i'd probably start sweating him for sure he can do the she most can push do the most. <clears throat> hold up wait put him up <laughs> put him up definitely you definitely me i'm a i'm a freaking warrior Carly, do you have a certain clothing item you love to wear that belongs to Zach? Zach, do you have a certain clothing item that you love that belongs to Carly? There's a t-shirt that he got in an Astros baseball training, what was it, a camp, tr yeah. summer camp that he got. It has his last name and it has a number and it has like the Houston Astros logo on it and I have that shirt. So I love that shirt. Do you have any? No, I don't A hairband? <laughs> Other than that, no, it can't fit into my clothing, so. No! It doesn't work the same way. What's your favorite show to watch together, Martin? Martin. We love watching Martin. Yeah. How do you keep your relationship continuously fun and spontaneous? We believe that love can be extraordinary and that it can last and like continuously be extraordinary. We believe that all it takes is effort. We're like really passionate yeah. about not Beating settling. The, the idea of- The stereotype. Of you have to 
It has to get to, boring. It has to be boring. Here's the best way to say it. We believe that the honeymoon stage can be your entire relationship. We don't believe that that's a stage. We don't right. believe that it's just fun and exciting when you're first getting to know each other and that all it takes to overcome that is effort. Yeah, it's all on you guys. So from the beginning, we've made it's the choice. The effort, because that's what it is. From the very beginning, it's what do you do? You're put. You're... You're putting, putting an, an effort. effort to Woo get that the other person, person. Yeah, to get that person to care for you like how you care for them. And to show it. So it's the only thing. So just we just don't stop the, that effort. Throughout the rest of the relationship, I would say also just um, to flirt and yeah. to, to be silly. Mm -hmm. And just like all of the things that you did. At the beginning. At the beginning. You should continue doing that because that's when you guys were in that honeymoon stage. Mm -hmm. Love doesn't have to get to the point where you're like... Routine. In a routine. We, mm. we can't do We never want to be in a we routine. We got the word. That's it. Routine. We will... Ugh. Never will come the day where we're in a routine. What has been your hardest challenge as a couple and how did you guys overcome it? Love you guys. Love you too. Distance. Yeah. Distance by far the hardest challenge. Mm -hmm. Communication. So the distance, but within that distance, the communication and our different styles as individuals of communicating and figuring out what works for our relationship. Yeah. Boom. Your favorite thing about each other, we just answered that, but the next thing says y'all's pet peeves about each other. I know mine. He chooses, he chooses nails, and I'm constantly knocking his hands out of his mouth. It just like bothers me. That was quick. <laughs> pet peeve, I would say how indecisive she is. Ooh, this is a good one. Does Zach like your short hair or long hair better? Short. But I mean, we met when her hair was long. Long to my booty long. It was. It was all the way to we my We met booty. when your hair was long. Uh -huh. I think you're beautiful either way. What was your first impression of each other? What has been the longest time y'all went without seeing each other? I love y'all. Love you. Again, who is that? And I thought he was super cute. Who is that? And I think she's super cute. Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest y'all have gone without seeing each other? Last year, what was it? Four months? It was more than it was, that. Y'all, it almost did me in. It was so bad. It was like five months. It was so Maybe, bad. Maybe, it was probably like five to six months. We told ourselves we would never do that again. We, was, didn't, we didn't necessarily do it on purpose, but it kind of just happened. Like, yeah. every time that it came up, it was just like not a good time. Never again. Never again. Carly and Zach, are either you guys picky eaters? If so, what type or kind of food? What? Who does most of the cooking if you guys cook? He's the picky eater. I will eat anything. Not because... He doesn't like things because he just wouldn't try new things. But now he's much better at trying new things. And I do the cooking. I help. I do most of the cooking, but he will help me. What's it like to have a long distance relationship? It's horrible. It's the worst. Yeah, but the joy that you have whenever you're about to see that person. Yes, it does give you a good perspective. That's what I'm saying. It has its, it has its ups and downs. What part of yourself do you want to change or improve on as a partner and why? Love you. Love you. Perspective and patience i would say continue growing as a man and just like understanding what it means to really be a yeah, man what it really means to be a and man. not what society says that's good what a man should be or should act like zach sing now i haven't heard you Ooh. since the duet vine that's my question even when i'm standing tall never looking down on you even when I'm standing on a stage, never too good for you. No matter how far I go, I'm never too cool. I'll stand beside you. I'll stand beside you. you. In every situation, you're my equal. Hey, ain't no lying people. Can and anybody tell you different? <laughs> don't listen, they're deceitful. And no, no money don't make you. You didn't make the money. You always need somebody beside you. <laughs> I'm always beside you. Always beside you. Beside you. Oh. <laughs> beside you. Oh. That's good, baby. Um, how much longer till you guys move to Austin with me and oh, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Let us get our life right. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Austin would be fun though. When can we all hang out again and play volleyball? <laughs> Good times. What do you guys think about vacationing in Alaska? I know it's crazy, but what's your opinion? That'd be so fun. That'd be awesome. The Alaska. We want to go on trips. We want to travel the world. <laughs>
Get too back long, in here. Too hurry, long, hurry. Too long. Okay. Yeah, we want to travel. We want to go everywhere. Yeah, we want to do it all. We go to Alaska. Alaska? Heck yeah. Sounds fun. Jamaica, Brazil, Spain, Greece, London, Paris. We've lived in Houston. All right, that is it. We just tore through those questions. I got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> Thank but, you guys for all the questions, yes. for all the support. And love. Please keep it coming. Yes. Please continue it. We are figuring out, again, our presence on social media and what that looks like, and we're not going anywhere. No. So we uh, both have big dreams, and we want to open it up and share that journey with you. So thank you, guys. Thanks for loving us. We love each other. We love you. This is really just the beginning. Just the beginning. So thank you again for your questions and support. We out. We out. I love you. I love you. Bye! <laughs>